High as Cayman Reynolds were in February, and it's in the upper 40s, maybe mid 40s now. But we're going to get into this hive. I want to talk real quick about what we're doing, a couple different things. You can see the lids new. There's going to be a bunch of new lids around here. And what we've done is take in good hives um, with good, uh, with good lids, and we put the rim underneath them, and we exchange them with new lids that had the rim. I'm really thinking I'm going to like this. It just gives us space to get those patties in there without having to use a one and a half inch feeder rim. We'll be using them all throughout the season and letting you know how they work. But a lot of beekeepers um, of professional scale um, are using that uh, these days. So let's get into this hive right here just real quick and see what's going on. So this is one of our August made splits. You can see where we threw the patty on there without any parchment paper or wax paper. And it works, but I, I tend to like the parchment better because I think it does keep the small hive beetles out of it a little bit more. Oh, but more importantly, I just think that it keeps the patty still softer yet. Uh, this, this is drying out just a little bit. With the Pro Suite, it's not so bad. It's still pretty cakey in there, but I, I'm leaning still towards using the paper. So I just wanted to try that out and see how well that would work. Poor thing. All right. So let's start on the edge frame and work our way in, see what the honey stores are like. And by the way, if you like this hive tool, I really love it. It's only $8, and I'm going to leave the link below in the comments. So if you'd like to check that out. All right, that frame was really light on honey. And this one feels very light as well. Yep, very light. Man, the bees are just burning through stores, but we have been so mild. We have only really had a week, maybe two weeks of actual winter weather. Another really light frame. And I fed these things pretty hard going into winter. I'm seeing eggs down in there. That's good, but if they don't get any type of energy source, they will starve. That's good bee coverage. Look how they're clustering around that larvae. There's nothing over here. They've just got to get some food. I think there's some honey on this side, which is closer to the feeder. It looks like there is, but still, I want to see those frames full. So looking at a colony like this, I want to see at least three frames worth of honey in a colony clustered around this size, preferably more. There's a difference between having, uh, I mean, you can have too much honey this time of the year in this. They've got to be able to have, be able to have room to brood. Wow. They can't see much because of the clustering of the bees. I'm just going to take a little bit of this. Look at that right there. Young queens, dead mites, and lots of new bees. Look, look at that larvae down in there. They're just capping this. Some of this is, I think, maybe hatching out. That's awesome. You ever get a photo of that, Laurel? Or video, I should say. That's a fuzzy newbie right there. Oh yeah. Let's put this one back in so they can cluster up with their buddies over here. And stay warm. But we're gonna need to get a little bit more feed because we're in the middle of February. So, if we don't get any good nectar flow here for another month or so, even just, not, I'm not, not talking about putting surplus honey, I'm just talking about them sustaining their growth, then the colony is not gonna reach its full potential. All right, this frame is light as well. And there is lots of larvae in here. Keep it out for the queen laurel. And I am seeing a few eggs on this side. I've seen brood on the other side, so but very light frame. Definitely need to find some food over here. Ooh, gotta love that time of the year. Now this time of the year, what I'm referring to is all the propolis and the beeswax. Everything's cold, it's harder to move around. In the summer, it just sticks to your fingers. There's some weight to this frame. Yeah, there's some honey up in here. There's some bee bread. So there's not a whole lot of bees on this side. So what's probably going on right now, it got up in the 50s today, is there are bees over here that are mining basically the honey out of the combs over here and bringing it over to the brood. Now here in Tennessee, it's a piece of cake because we get so many days where our bees can break cluster and, and do that. 
The problem is if you're not in one of those areas, your bees can have a nice five, six frames of bees over here. And you have two or three frames solid of honey over here and they'll starve because it's too cold. They can't get over there and move towards it. So always make sure prior to winter you kind of position that in the, the place. This frame has got some good weight to it. I'd say it's probably 60 plus percent full. And this frame over here looks very full. This is still not enough. So we're gonna have to get some feed into this colony. So that one's got more in it. It's got some weight this side. Oh, that's mostly full over there. That's the only reason they're doing as good as they're doing. We've gotta get some feed into this colony. But it's been so mild, our bees are getting out. They're flying and they're flying and they're flying and there's nothing to do most days. And because of that, it's just burning up unnecessary resources. So let's scoot all this back over. We do have the pollen patty in here. Keep in mind if you're feeding pollen patties, that's just going to encourage them to raise more brood. More brood means more energy requirements, more honey, more sugar syrup, whatever. All right, so we're just gonna smoke these bees down. Don't wanna crush any. There's a few bees on the lid over here. Oh, they love that. But it does help us prevent from crushing them when we do that so all right well we've got to get some food into this colony but overall if this colony gets the nutrition that they need they're already starting to brood fairly well for a colony this size and we've got some colonies that have about four frames of brood so then those are our big colonies with plenty of nutrition honey production size colonies and but if this colony gets more nutrition from us it has a great queen that pattern looked pretty good especially for this time of the year in february once we actually get some meaningful pollen flows coming in some natural nectar which is the best thing to stimulate um, the bees with some pollen this colony is going to shoot off like a rocket as long as they can get to that point this is a crucial time of the year the day lengths are getting longer your bees are wanting to brood because that day length even if they're not getting it out and flying that means they're going to be burning more honey more resources even if it just takes a second, get in there and check real quick. You don't have to pull a bunch of frames like we did, but get in there and make sure your bees have plenty of food so they can survive and thrive, and ultimately you both will do better in spring. Thanks for watching our videos.